Greetings. I am Julian. Or you can also call me Jules, or Demetrius, or Skullmiser, or some other guy. I am going to be doing a Let Us Play of Bastard. I think I played this game first when I was about eight or so. I thought it was cool, I like it. Whenever I try to get anybody else to play this game, though, they say, Julian, it's too hard, it's too complicated, I, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. Well, you know, they said the same thing about QCD, and now anybody who's anybody knows about that game. So, this has an interesting kind of setting. It's it's a mix between fantasy and science fiction. I mean, if you read the description there, it says it's after the fall of human civilization. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll tell you more as we go. The selector here is uh, named Lars. That's the dragon's name. It's a baby dragon. Okay, I'll do the story mode and also tell you. Now, it's a rough adaptation of a manga. So they don't they don't tell you everything. Here you have these four horsemen. <laughs> hmm. Is this the end of Metallica? -na? And now he, he says, so oh, remember Dark Snyder? Yes, the he said that uh, they fought with him, but I mean, they, they mean like together. They uh, not against him. He was their leader. He was conquering the world because he's so powerful, a wizard. Hmm. So, what happened to him? Yeah, he did die. But I don't know. He knows so much magic. He can bring himself back to life. But uh, some priest and Metallica now here. He uh, intercepted Dark Schneider's soul and bound him to this child 15 years ago. Some infant. So that's Luce here. I think he's completely unaware of it. And yeah, it's a big guarded secret that they have imprisoned this wizard. He's totally evil. And, uh,. I mean, they, they really should be doing this, well, but uh, they figure since their country's going to be destroyed anyway, they have nothing to lose, and they might as well risk everything on uh, freeing this wizard in the hopes that he'll grant them a boon and not kill them. Ah, so... She's a virgin, so she can kiss him and unbreak the seal. <laughs> I live again! I am reborn! Yeah, and uh, he's not very helpful. I mean, the first thing he tries to do is kill the priest that imprisoned him, which is her father, as he wasn't very happy about that. But then some guys, uh, they broke in, you know, interrupting him. And uh, he got really pissed off at them, because they almost hurt Yoko here. And he likes Yoko now. So he cast Venom on it. It's not an explosion spell. What it does is uh, summons from hell enzymes and or bacteria that just liquefy enemies into, like, pools of blood. I think in the anime there's, like, lots of blood gushing out of this castle. And they're like, wow, that's Venom. And only Dark Schneider has ever been able to cast that. So he's gonna go check this out. <clears throat> yes. Hmm. So you're alive, you bastard. We've got a 15 year old score to settle. Well, if it isn't Fuckface himself. Gara! I'm so glad you remembered. It feels great to be able to use my magic once again. This time, Gara, 
I'll make sure I kill you. <clears throat> okay, this is a 3D fighting game. Dark Schneider is magic, so he can fly. Gara can't, because he's just a ninja. <clears throat> okay, the B button shoots fireballs downwards. Left and right, they move him. The L button moves uh, between the foreground and background, which is handy for dodging some things. Uh, X shoots up. Y shoots left. A shoots right. So if he's you know, moving to the right, it'll hit him. You can uh, you can get by with just that, but I no. You'll not do very well, and the game will be frustrating. So the R button is your magic button, really. If you double tap R and hold it down, you get this thing. You can move it around with the direction buttons and burn him until he hits you, and then it interrupts it. If you hold R as Dark Schneider, and you double tap A, he'll uh, start glowing with fire. And then if you touch Gara, he'll uh, take a bunch of damage. If you hold R, press A, Y, X, A, A, Y, X, A, he'll shoot these homing blasts. That are very handy. If you hold R while you're on the ground and press A, B, Y, he'll shoot this little inferno. I think it's called Guns N' Roses. Because he names all of his spells after metal bands. If you hold R, press uh, A, B, X, and you let go, he shoots like in all directions really fast until he gets hit. I don't think it's very handy. I think you should just aim yourself. His most powerful attack is, like, this Mega Death Explosion. To use it, it's... Uh, AXYBA. While well, you're holding R. Yeah, hold R, press AXYBA. And then let go, and he'll use Mega Death. It's not as hard as it sounds. It's just like a circle. They're all really fluid motions. And all of his uh, specials start with A. So that's good to remember. So, now that I've explained all the moves, I can just play faster. Gonna win. Yeah, I like to... it's good to cast homing, and then, like, as he's getting hit, you should cast your Mega Death spell. So he can't counter it, because he won't be able to use anything. He's got fast projectiles. Gara does. Hmm. Observe closely, Gara. This is real power. I've seen you go stronger, but I'm not so easily defeated. This isn't over. Hmm. Stage two. So, he saved the day and. Hmm, it, the game's kind of skipping a lot. That's okay. At some point, Yoko was kidnapped, and he's got to go save her and stuff. Evil's in the air. Diamond is a funny character here. That's his name, Diamond. He's so arrogant. They're both arrogant, though. Nothing but queers out tonight. I, the ultra-magnificent, ultra-intelligent, and ultra-beautiful Count Diamond, shall feast on your blood! Watch out, freak. I bite back! Hmm. Uh. Oh yes, his kiss is paralyzed. That spinning move there is from the manga. 
He's got these I beams. He keeps shooting at me. He has those in the anime manga, and so it distorts his senses, so he can't aim right. And he says, "I don't need to aim. I can just spin around and shoot everything." So that's like Dark Snyder's spammy move, like th th this one here. But uh, I think if you hit him, it does not interrupt it. Yeah, he just it stops him for a second, but he keeps going. Hmm, it was during the Die Ammon story that Dark Snyder learned to break the seal on his own. Because if he gets kissed by, like, a virgin again, he turns back into Luce and doesn't get to do anything. Unless Luce is asleep, because after the seal was broken, it was weaker. And Dark Snyder can control him while Luce is asleep. Which was neat. And could use all his magic and stuff. Yeah, so Yoko was all in trouble. And, uh... You know, he, he had to go save her. And, uh, the seal was... Uh, it uses, like... Some love goddess. Uh. So, since Dark Snyder's so evil, he, he couldn't break the seal. Unless he felt love. <laughs> ah. Ah. I think Diamond is the only one that can heal. Can turn into a bat and heal. And he can also suck blood. That's good for him. Yes. Mm. I don't want to. I have to kill him fast because I don't want to go over YouTube time. Ah, if he's a bat, then one hit will kill him. That's why he shouldn't do that. Don't fuck with me, shithead. So in the manga, at this point, he ripped off a piece of his wing because he needed to cast a curse, and it required wing of bat. So. uh... You know, the curse appeared in the form of, like, a blue fingernail. And, uh, he had to be complete... Diamon, he had to be completely loyal to Dark Schneider, or else it would turn purple and then red. And if it turned red, he would turn into a toad forever. Dark Schneider is so cruel. Cruel. So, then they just let, they let him get away. And then he was just, like, exactly as arrogant. He started saying things like, I am the strongest after Dark Schneider, and I am the most beautiful after Dark Schneider. Look at how blue my fingernail is. I'm so great. Okay, so now next he's going to go to Arceus, but uh, I'm going to have to stop the video here. So uh, catch, catch the next one and we'll continue the story. I hope you are having fun.